Hey everyone, so I know I've been gone for like a year or something. Um, I've been really busy. I'm a freshman in college now and there's like lots to do and lots to be done. But I have missed doing videos. I did do them for the pure fun of it and I miss it a lot. So I will be doing more videos now. Um, so if you guys haven't seen my new blog post, um, it's about waxing and how I'm never shaving again. I will put a link to my blog post over here and down in the down bar. If you guys haven't seen it yet, you should definitely check it out. There are pictures, etc, etc. So this will just kind of be the video to go along with the blog post. It will be going more in depth. I will show you guys the stuff on camera. Even though I don't have it with me right now, I'm going to go get it. And just stuff like that. I am recording on my MacBook Pro, so if the camera kind of seems less HD than my actual camera, that's why. And if the audio and video doesn't kind of match up, that'd be why too. Sorry, it's tricky. I will be getting my camera soon. It is at home. I do hope to go get it. So as soon as I get that, I'll be recording with that camera instead. And um, my bangs are kind of long right now, which is why they're clipped back. I do plan on getting a haircut. Yes, I do still have my bangs from a year ago. I love my bangs. I did try and grow them out, as you guys can tell, for this side. And um, I like them, but I don't like them as much as my bangs. You guys can leave me your, I guess, opinion in the down bar. I do plan to get a haircut, though, because I don't know. I like my bangs better. So yeah, that's it. I'm sorry my hair is like completely messed up because it is. But I hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys enjoy and please stay tuned. Okay, so I will be talking about how I decided to start waxing and um, just stuff like that. So first of all, I shave my underarms and I wax my lip and my eyebrows. Um, I do not shave my legs, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but being as I'm from Singapore and I'm 100% Chinese, um, for some reason I just don't grow much leg hair at all, if anything it's kind of like the fuzz on your arm, and I just don't shave my legs because it's unnecessary, so I just don't, um, however I do think that this is an awesome idea if you guys do wax your legs because I know the majority of girls do. So I decided to start waxing originally because of my lips and of my eyebrows, Mo mostly my lips though because I have fuzz on my lips and it's very, I'm very self-conscious about it and going to get my lips waxed every like two weeks gets pretty pricey if you go about $10, it's about $20 a month and it does add up and usually I go and I do my eyebrows too which can go about $20 to $22 for both. And so I decided to start waxing. Um, I did look at like microwavable wax, but seeing all the reviews and such on it, I didn't think it was worth it because um, it takes a long time to microwave wax. And as I live in a dorm room now, we have a mini microwave, and it'll take a lot longer to wet to melt the wax. And then my roommate would be able to use the microwave while I'm melting the wax. So I just decided to go ahead and buy a wax warmer. And I got this one by Gigi. I did do a lot of research about this. Um, I looked at the Satin Smooth one and I looked at a couple others, but mostly I looked at the Gigi and the Satin Smooth one. I finally decided on the Gigi because they both had really good reviews. However, the Gigi was available on Amazon. And so was the Satin Smooth, but it was more expensive. So I just said I go ahead with the Gigi. And I'm very glad I did. Um, it has a little honeybee right there and it just it comes with this little thing right here so this is in the off position and you just switch it all the way up to to high and when it reaches when the heater reaches the heat this little green button this little green will light up so even if it's here only light up the green will only light up if it's at the heat that you want it to be at it comes with a little cover and this is where you put the wax in and the little it, of course so um, I decided to go with the one with the little switch even though the other one was cheaper because I decided I want to be able to control the heat so that I don't burn myself so the next thing you need is one of these and mine I didn't buy the kit and a lot of people buy the kit but I actually decided the kit was more expensive and I'll explain why you also need one of these 
and of course your wax. I did decide to go with the satin smooth wax, even though I went with the GG heater. So I know that's so weird, but I went with the satin smooth hard wax, and it looks like this. And I decided on hard wax because it's all explained on my blog. You guys should definitely check that out. But basically, hard wax doesn't attach to your skin, so you can't rip your skin out. Whereas soft wax or strip wax does, and you can potentially rip your skin out and being as how I'm a total amateur at this I didn't want to accidentally do that so hard wax it is and I got the satin smooth one because it had a lot of great reviews and yeah so all you do is you take the top off and it looks like this and you put this here Ooh. put this I keep this. Okay. Put it like this. So it looks like this. You just put it into the heater like this. And you plug it in. And it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to heat up. For me on high it takes about yeah, 30 to 45 minutes to heat up and then um after it heats up, it's ready to go. And this ooh, I'm getting wax everywhere now. Okay. This was I think about $15. No, less than that. Probably about ten to fifteen dollars on Amazon. So you need the wax. The wax heater I got for I think twenty three dollars or so on Amazon. If you buy it at Sally's Beauty Supply, I know it will cost you about thirty five. I think there's a cheaper one that's around twenty. You can also get it at Sally's or on Amazon, but it doesn't have this little thing here. So. Um, And um, all the information is in, on my blog, including the information on why I do, I chose not to go with the kit. I did do a lot of research, and I decided that the kit was around fifty dollars, and it was just really expensive and unnecessary. There's a lot of things that were unnecessary included in it, and I decided that I just didn't need it. Sorry, putting it back in the box. This is all also in my blog post, you guys. Okay, so other things you need, and this is why I chose not to go with the kit. The kit comes with, um, like, pre and post waxing oils and lotions and all that stuff. But they give you little sample bottles, and so I decided to just go out to the grocery store and buy stuff full-sized. And I think it came out to be about the same price, but this will last me a lot longer. So you need craft sticks. There's any, like, popsicle sticks. I just got this in, like, the craft section, and I think it's, like, $3 or something. You can also go to the dollar store. Okay, so, sorry about that. My roommate came back, and I didn't want to be, like, talking to myself while she was in here, so I went to take a shower, and I'm actually going to wax today, although I don't think I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that, because I just think it'd be really complicated. So, but if you guys really want to see that, please let me know. I was trying to figure out a way how... I would do that, but again, craft sticks, these are just things you use to stir up your wax and apply it, and um, I just got like these like smaller ones, um, because um, they have like bigger ones, because I'm doing my eyebrows, my lips, and my armpit, and my underarm, so I don't need larger sticks, if you plan on doing like your legs or your arms, or like a guy's chest or something like larger areas, I would get the larger sticks. So that's that. Um, you will also need baby oil. You can get Johnson's. I just got like store. Sorry, that's my phone. I just got like store brand and um, baby oil because this is very, 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 very important because this removes the excess or uh, wax off your skin after you wet. Also, if you get the stuff on your hands or on your skin where you don't want the wax to be and you don't want to peel off your hair that you want to stay there. For example, your eyebrow. Um this will get it off and also if you get it just you, you're gonna get wax everywhere you need baby oil um okay another thing you need is toner and mine just kind of spilled everywhere but I just got Dickinson's original witch hazel toner you can use whatever toner you are currently using this is just to clean and prep the area before you wax and you can also use like rubbing alcohol or something um Last but not least, you're going to need aloe vera. Um, 
like I said, those kits come with like those post wax lotions or whatever. Essentially, it's the same thing. I actually think aloe vera works better because if you've ever gotten yourself waxed, if you've ever gotten waxed, you know it stings and kind of burns afterward. And I actually think this works really, really well. It hurts a lot less. I can actually hardly feel it. So, aloe vera for your, the place you waxed after to cool it off. And um, you also need cotton pads, like those things you use to remove makeup or put on your toner or whatever. You need that, and you, know, you can just get that at the store. So this is what you need before and after. You might also need baby powder, or yeah, you might also need baby powder to put a barrier in between your skin and the wax. If you use soft slash the soft wax that requires the strip. I don't because I have tried it with the baby powder using hard wax. I find that it's not necessary, so I don't use it. However, you might need that. So, um, that's all you need to wax, really. Um, some pros of waxing include your hair won't come back for two weeks. Um, if you are worried about, like, or if you're self-conscious about your arm, underarm being dark, waxing solves that problem. It actually doesn't hurt that bad. I thought it would hurt really, really bad, but it didn't, so that's surprising in a good way and um yeah not having to shave is actually really nice for two weeks you don't have to worry about it it's really nice um he waxing is kind of a long process though you need to put away at least an hour or two for that it takes about like 30 to 45 minutes for the wax to heat up in the first place so make sure you have time for that so um that's about it if you guys have any questions or anything please comment in the comment box below and um or private message me that's good too. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope this is informational. And um, yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Visit my blog. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye.